Good evening, gentlemen. An item on my bucket list has been checked off, assuming we can get it to work. Yes, very exciting. Probably not exciting to you guys, but it's pretty damn exciting to me. Uh, now, to the casual observer, this would look like a run-of-the-mill IBM PS2 Model 25. However, it's not. In fact, if we zoom in very enticingly, very slowly, guaranteed to um, build tension and shit on the label on the machine, if I can hold steady. What does that say? A personal system 2 model 25 286? Well, that's pretty cool, but... But, Lee, why are you so excited about that? I mean, they're kind of rare, but... That's not bucket list shit. Oh! oh! Oh, gentlemen. This isn't actually a personal system 2 model 25 286. Let me... Crack the bastard open. I'll be right back. I've been searching for this contraption for probably a decade. Perhaps a bit longer than that. I really hope we can get it working. Let us open it. Open it up. Now what what is this, boys? Since that sticker was there and already spoiled the surprise, this does not look like a run-of-the-mill IBM PS2 Model 25286 motherboard. It has weird shit on it. What? 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 Boys, this is a PC Enterprises Genesis PC PS2 Model 25 Planer. It was a third-party upgrade for the PS2 Model 25, all varieties of the PS2 Model 25, that upgraded it from a 8086 or a 286 to a 133 MHz 5x86. It doesn't work, according to the seller, and um, we'll see here in a little bit there has been some battery leakage. It's got the NICAD bomb on it. Oh, you dirty rat. You dirty son of a bitch. Spoiling my bucket list. Alright, boys. Here we have the power supply and the video do to router out of a um, PS2 Model 3286. If you look close with your peepings, you will see that there is bad news bears in the vicinity of the NICAD fucking battery. This must be removed before we do anything. And I don't have any damned vinegar in my cupboard because I cook everything in the microwave because I'm a bachelor. I may have to go get some vinegar before the end of the day. So that may uh, make our uh, video shorter than it could have been otherwise. Come hither, battery come off you filthy son of a bitch now you're going in the junk bin little battery eat my shorts okay how bad how bad is the damage how bad is it boys how bad is it That negative side that looks all shitty, I assume, goes straight to the ground plane. Oh, uh, there's a trace going around it there. Oh, uh, there's a little bit of funk here on this external battery header. Uh, you know, it doesn't look... It doesn't look super bad. It looks like this one trace. Maybe... Where's my pointificator? Where's my pointificator? Here's my pointificator. It looks like this trace here is probably eaten away enough to cause headaches. 
And th these traces up here may be shitty. I can't... I can't hardly tell. We're going to have to do some scrape derating regardless. <sighs> yeah, I'd say we're gonna have to run some jumpers through some of this shit to get her going. This one up here may be intact. I don't have any fingernail polish either to cover those traces back up once I scrape the solder mask off of them. And ho ho ho! When I go into the dollar store and buy fingernail polish, that woman looks at me like she doesn't know what to think. <laughs> oh, but as you can tell, my, uh, my fucking fingers, boys, they're pretty enough without nail polish, right? Mmm. Yes, sirs. <laughs> oh, God. Why did I have those shots in honor of those packages. It's just, this is not a good situation. Okay, um, I'm going to have to obtain some vinegar. I will return. Well, hang on just a damn minute. We might as well try the thing. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Famous last words. Famous, famous last words. Ooh, Ooh the CPU's powering up. Or the fan. Um, the monitor has not initialized. I don't see any built-in speaker on the thing to make any beeps. Yeah, no, there's there's a built-in speaker. So I guess it's not even trying to post. I don't hear. I don't hear any post beep. Let's pull this RAM and see what happens. Okay, it's bitching that there's no RAM installed. Um, I guess that's a good sign. Now, I don't know what uh, what those eaten away traces there might be, but uh, I think the first order of business is to is to neutralize that base that leaked out of that fucking battery. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go get some vinegar. I'll be back in a little while. All right, I had a gander here. Uh, oh, come on, camera. So, um, this is a 74 uh, F08 gate. Um, that's going to be the uh, the fast version of a 2 in AND gate. Uh, I've got some LS series and some HCT series of those, but I don't have any uh, F series of those. But anyway, it looks like the, the pins on this side are a little bit funny. Um, it looks like there's some funny on these resistors here, and it looks like there's a lot of funny on this external battery header. And um, I think all of these traces are intact. I haven't tried to ring them out with the, uh, with the ohm meter yet, but um, they don't look like broken when I scrape the solder mask off of them. This one here is a little questionable, but the, 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 all these up here look passable. Now, I don't know how this would keep the, the video from initializing, though. There may be there may be more faults with this board, but um, regardless, um, I'm going to desolder these components in this area uh, where the battery acid damage is so I can see what's going on and um, but what really worries me here is um see you can see there are some vias here um, underneath of the battery and if the, if the if the battery funk has gotten down into those vias and this is a multi-layer board and it's fucked up um, traces like under there you know what I'm saying like inside of the board to where they're not like connecting with these vias that might be that might be bad uh, I got everything off of there and uh Up here, didn't look too bad. Uh, 
couple of places where the solder mask was eaten off, but it didn't seem to affect the copper much. Um, so uh, that's good. I, I filled uh, some of these vias up with solder, hoping that that might correct any problems in there. And I, I did, uh, I did give it a good uh, vinegar bath. But uh, down here is where we had some problems. This, uh, these two vias right here, the traces, the the pad around this via had been eaten off and the pad was the pad was still on this one but the trace that went to it had been eaten off right there before it got there I couldn't get any continuity on the other side so uh, this is both of them I stuck uh, stuck a little piece of wire wrap wire down into and soldered so hopefully that'll fix it I don't know well there we go boys I don't know if it's gonna work or not I've got my doubts but I guess we'll find out uh, these uh, ceramic capacitors that came out of here don't have standard markings on them. They just say 47 and 10, so I assume that means 47 picofarads and 10 picofarads. I sure hope it does, because that's what I put back in there. <laughs> and uh, lacking any 33 ohm resistors and intoxication being the mother of invention, we had to kind of uh, build a little teepee there. But hopefully it'll still work. I don't know. Probably won't. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm pretty dubious. If this doesn't do her, I'm going to throw in the towel for the night and come back tomorrow and work on it some more. At least we've got the fucking battery base alkaline shit stuff neutralized and we can... We don't have to worry about further shit reoccurring. Uh, I, I took a look at a couple of these capacitors with my ESR meter and uh, the couple that I looked at seemed to read okay so I'm uh, I'm gonna keep looking for other problems before I try recapping stuff if this doesn't do it well here goes nothing boys I I don't have a whole lot of hope but uh, let's see what happens well same as before Alrighty then, disappointing, but uh, I guess that's the way shit happens. I'll have to uh, ring out my shit on the board a little better. Maybe I missed a, maybe I missed an eaten trace. Maybe stuff's just too fucked up down inside of there to fix. I don't know. <sighs> Fiddlesticks. See y'all tomorrow.